In this video, I'm going to showcase this character in Anime Dimensions. This is what I'm using and with no assists or damaging traits. Remember to like the video and subscribe. Essa's first and second abilities are both kinda weak with not the biggest AoE, while the third ability is a bit stronger with okay AoE. The fourth ability is kinda good. The thing is you can't move around with it, it's kinda slow so it's not the best. The fifth ability is really good, you can move around with it, it's good AoE, good damage and gives you effects because of an awakening move. And the assist is actually the fourth best assist in the game, giving boss damage as the effect and being pretty good assist just in general. Esteth is okay now. If you did not know, before she got an awakening move and the buff, she was the worst raid character in the game that you can get. She was worse than Demon Lord Rimuru. And that is surprising to say because Demon Lord Rimuru is by far the worst raid character right now. By far. And SF was worse than Demon Lord Rimuru before. Now, Demon, uh, now Demon Lord Rimuru is the worst, and SDF is about in the middle. She's not too terrible now anymore. First of all, she did get a buff, so her abilities outside of the Awakening move are all respectable now. They're not the worst, they're not good by any means, but not terrible. They actually have some sort of damage, and the AoE is fine in Dimensions. I would not say here uh, that she is the best character at all, uh, and I would not recommend you getting her for the main. She is not that good of a main. She is okay in boss rush if you have good stuff, but that's mainly because, well, I have good stuff. She's not gonna be your priority to get at all for a main. There are definitely better mains that you can get for the same price, and that's not the reason why you should get Esteth. Esteth has a good assist. She has boss damage as her effects, and that is those. She is, for that reason, she's the fourth best assist in the game. So that's why I would recommend getting her. Actually, in dimensions, she does have a really good move, having the fifth ability because you can move around with it with good AOE, with good damage. And the problem is that that's only one move she has. That's really really good in dimensions. Sure, that move is really good, but you can only use it once in basically the whole dimension if you're good enough. So it's not the best. Uh, the other abilities are not the best. Like, the first and second abilities have AoE, but it's not that big. It's not big at all, honestly. Third ability has okay AoE, but the thing is, the problem with SF is that the two abilities they can use the most, the first and second abilities, they the AoE is not, like, sufficient. It doesn't kill everything in the area, so you have to use multiple abilities and the fact that you have to use multiple abilities also strengthens with the fact that you can't really one shot the enemies with her abilities because they're kinda too weak. That's something you could say. And the fourth ability has good AoE and has good damage but the thing is the fourth ability makes you stuck. You can't move around with it. So that's a bit of a problem because then that, that would mean that um, you you're kind of slow in the dimension. It's not the best. But either way, um, Esteth is not someone you should buy for the main. Like, she isn't terrible. She's not the worst character in the game that you can buy. Uh, and in raids, you're gonna see that she's pretty respectable. In dimensions, she's not as good. Uh, and I wouldn't recommend using her in dimensions. Uh, but there is a reason why you should buy her and buy uh, and probably be the third character that you buy in this event. And that's because of her assist. Same reason with Yurichi, though Yurichi you should buy first because first of all he's a better assist and second of all he's a better main. Esteth is also a really really good assist. So he, she is someone you will buy. When it comes to raids as well, she's kind of respectable. Because because of her buff and awakening move, in general, just those characters with awakening moves are really strong. Like, they are fantastic because they are just insanely overpowered. They give you so many stat bonuses, they give you a move that is really strong. Usually it gives something else special to the character. For example here, you get better M1 or like long, uh, longer reach, I think. Uh, in general, she's not gonna be that bad in, in raids. Uh, with the awakening 
Without the Awakening, I wouldn't recommend her. With the Awakening, I wouldn't recommend her, but she's not bad. You could, if you die uh, while using uh, another character and get to Esteth, then she's not the worst. Uh, so it's fine. Like, she, she without the pets is probably better than a lot of other raid characters because of the reason that she has this Awakening move and her abilities are kind of fast. Like, you can use them quite often uh, since the cooldown is short. Uh, and that's basically it. They're not strong, but the ability cooldowns are not that long. And the fifth ability just absolutely increases her damage by like, a lot. All Awakening moves are really good, so it's to no surprise. With a pet, uh, she doesn't have the best energy gain. She's just like Gilgamesh. Um, the abilities are quite fast, but she doesn't have the best energy gain. But that does make her really good because you can spam her moves a bit more often. And since they're already quick, you can spam them like a lot. You can spam them often. She would probably benefit a lot from uh, Kurumi because fast abilities. The thing is, they're kind of slow to use the second ability and third abilities. So they're not instant, so the Kurumi would actually probably be limited. But either way, I think SF is respect on rates. However, that is not the reason why I think you should get her and why I think she's the third best character to get. Uh, or, like, not the third best necessarily, but the third character you should get after first Dio and then Yurichi. Uh, because of her assist. Her assist is the fourth best assist in the game. So, personally, in raids, she's not, like, she's not terrible. The first ability is kind of bad, the second ability is kind of bad, but those two abilities have kind of short cooldowns. Third ability has okay damage, and isn't too long of a, of a uh, cooldown either. The fourth ability is mid, though. Esta is not the best of mains. Without the pet, she's actually one of the better ones because she has an awakening move that's just really good. But with the pet, she's she falls around the middle of the raid characters. Uh, now I'm strictly talking about the raid characters, so yeah. But either way, um, she is a really good assist, the fourth best assist in the game. So either way, you would be able to like benefit from her. Uh, but she's in the same boat as Yurichi, and if you buy Yurichi then you can buy Estef, but either way, don't buy Estef before you buy Yurichi, because Yurichi is just better main and a better assist. Um, so, if you haven't watched my Yurichi video, then watch that one, but basically, uh, you could buy her, because she is the fourth best assist in the game, and you, al you should already have Dio, which is the best main you can get, and then you have a good assist, real good assist. Uh, but only if you awaken her, which is also another 2,500 tokens, which you could spend on getting another character. So it's kind of your choice. If you want to get a really good assist, then you can buy Yurichi, awaken him, Esteth awaken her. You have two really good assists. But you can also get for that, for a cheaper price, or actually easier, Garo and Kirito and awaken them. They're actually the two best assists. But these are more limited, so you can get those. But even then, if you want to get the limited ones, then it's not worth it to awaken them. And then it's, instead of buying those awakening, it's more worth it to buy the characters. It's kind of your choice. If you want really fast progression, then uh, maybe buy the best ones, Kirito and Garo. If you're fine with a bit slower progression, because basically the same assists, then probably buy Esther and Yurichi Awakenings. Get them both as assists, and then get uh, to the other uh, characters. But if you really want to be as, as efficient as you can, get as many raid, uh, raid characters as you can, then maybe get the Yurichi and Estef, don't awaken them yet, and get the other characters before that, and then when the event is over, then you can awaken them to get their assist. That's basically it. Considering how she's one of the better ones without the pet, and like, a bit over average when she does have a good pet, uh, and she's just an awakening and a good assist, she is really good. Mitsuri is one of the worst ones. Um, I I would put her a B tier, straight up. She she's pretty good, and uh, you could definitely buy her. And every everyone above like B tier are people or characters that you can probably buy without being it being bad. Um, so yeah, is that just solid? That's basically it. I am gonna make a huge giveaway, thirty thousand subscribers. So make sure to subscribe if you like the video, like it. I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and see you in the next one.